after a difficult week, how good does it feel to come away with all the points? Uh, yeah, can I just address that? It's probably one of the most difficult weeks of my managerial career, honestly. Um, I will take the blame for the Watford game as I did on the day, set the boys up in a way that they, they weren't able to play at their maximum. My fault. Um, that's the start today. That's the start. Steve Cook said in the dressing room before the game, season starts now, boys, 45 games to go. We changed. Um, we've worked really hard during the week. I can't thank the boys enough for putting the hours in this week, um, which they should, by the way, but um, they did. And um, we, we worked really hard on, on, uh, you know, on the way we wanted to play today, what we wanted to do to teams, what I want to do to teams going forward. I played in some good sides and I, and I want to try and replicate that. I think I've got to sort of drop what I was believing in and start going to, to, to this because I, I thought to myself, how do I get the best out of my players? You, you're going to have to change, Gareth. You're going to have to come a certain way. But I still want my fundamentals. I still want my battling. I still want my second ball winners. I still want my blocks and my headers. And they were in abundance today. And the work rate, by the way, thank you, fans. Your work rate was brilliant, but the players as well matched it. You know, they uh, they never stopped running. They, they, they were genuine going down with cramp and everything. And that's great to see because that's all I ever said to the fans. They will give everything. Um, I thought we defended really well today, but... I thought we attacked superbly as well, you know, really, really threatening. Could have had a few more goals. The goals we've scored are, are wonderful. And honestly, I didn't think Cardiff had that much to offer until they scored their goal. OK, Ramsey's at the bar with a great shot. But, um, you know, I thought um, we really limited their chances, which was great to see. I wanted to address goals against and we've done it. The boys deserve every credit for that. They were superb today and they're enjoying that win in there. What's it like for a head coach when you make a change like you did in terms of formation and style of play and it comes off like that yeah listen it's, it's not it's not about me making the change it's about the boys application the boys belief in what I'm trying to do here this club in my opinion um, and by the way I've got the backing from the board and, and a great CEO and Lee Hoos this needs to change I, I think the, the way that this club has been going and, and going along it's been good it's not been brilliant and I want to change it, I want to make it brilliant. I want us to reach the heights that this club, that people don't think we can, especially the bookmakers who are all writing us off at the moment and everyone else. We can do this. We can do this with the right signings that have come in. We can do this with the right ethos, that work ethic, this, this spirit that I'm trying to put into boys. It wasn't shown last week and I apologize for that. It starts today. It's not always going to be like this, believe me, but what will be like this is the effort, the work rate, the, the trying things. Um, really pleased and uh, I actually told Sinclair before the game he would get his first goal today. I'm, I'm so glad he did because he deserved that. We'll come on to Sinclair in a moment, but you talk about signing. Steve Cook made his debut for Rangers today, looked to be struggling with cramp a little bit uh, at, the, at the end. But how well did he do for you before the game, off the pitch, but obviously on it? Since the moment he walked in the building, Steve Cook has been what I thought he would be. Leader, he's not going to suffer falls. Um, He's come in before the game, he was brilliant, getting the boys together, as was Morgan Fox, as is Asmir Begovic, Jack Colbeck to, to come and join the squad. You know, he's been ill this week, but what I wanted to do was give all these sensational young players, these role models, these examples, these leaders um, that I believe the club was lacking. He's come in before the game, he was vocal, half time he was vocal, but more than that, 112 minutes he was so vocal today you could hear him I could hear him from the touchline myself you know he's gonna cramp up he hasn't played first team football for a while but he's brilliant to have but listen I, I, I'm not one for picking out because Foxy next to him and, and Ozzy next to him I mean they were sensational in defense uh, two wing backs and everything midfielders just breaking things up Lyndon Ilias and Sinclair you know the starting 11 that I, I thought really took the game to, to Cardiff and, uh, and I thought we saw some magic you know even the subs that came on Really, really made that difference, you know. But when that 10 minutes went up at the end, God, that was tough, you know. It really was. I, I, I was praying that we, we'd get away with this. But that's a big moment for me because the change, the, the start of something, it's probably the first game I've won at Rangers where we've implemented our style onto a team rather than sitting back and soaking up at Burnley and Stoke and trying to get away with things. Um, really proud. And, and thank you to the fans because we've had a tough week as well. Um, <laughs> I know the frustrations, you know, I felt them, yeah. I'm not on social media, I didn't need to be this way, I just felt it. But I also felt the love at the end for all the players and that was that was really important. Get a little bit choked up because the club means a lot to me, but um, thank you for that. A first goal for Sinclair Armstrong. What 
will that do for him and his confidence? Just, I think we saw at the end there how he, he grew in front of the fans, you know, he grew. Moments like that are so special, you know. Um, everyone has said to me since I walked in, he said, Sinclair, he's a player, isn't he? Yeah, he just needs his first goal, just needs his first goal. I told him before the, uh, before the game, I believe in you, you're going to get your first goal today. And he had a big beaming smile on his face. I'm so glad that Paul Smith put it on a plate because um, I don't think I'd have missed that one. Yeah, he'd probably give it a good goal. But um, Sink's just hammered it in the net. And what a way to open your account. A way at Cardiff, in front of the, the home fans there. You know, it's a pressure situation. Um, his goal and his work rate deserve the win today, but he's got to credit everyone else, as I will. The boys deserve that today. They were sensational. The boys made that happen, and the fans, and I'm really proud.